Hey, it's Sam here, and this is the Cool Killer CK108 Magnetic Switch Keyboard. It has tri-mode connectivity, is hot swappable with magnetic and mechanical switches, can be gasket mounted or top mounted, and is available in 4 different colors with a price of $220. US Before I show you what's included in the box, do remember to subscribe for more keyboard content. In the box, there's an envelope that contains a letter from CoolKiller with the QR code for the driver and manual, a Type A to Type C USB charging cable, a 2-in-1 switch and keycap puller, a pack of silicone gaskets for the plate, a 2.4GHz dongle extender that also has a magnetic storage slot for the 2.4GHz USB dongle itself. So, the keyboard has a full-size layout, which means it has 108 keys. It also has the Cool Killer logo here on the top left, and the mode toggle buttons for the switches right next to the connection mode selector knob. Here I have the Western Legend colorway, and I think it looks great especially paired with these keycaps on it. The RGB looks decent and comes with a handful of effects. Here I'm just cycling in between them and it's kinda hard to see through these keycaps in my opinion. On the back, there's just the Type-C port located in the middle and if you look closely, there's also a golden strip wrapping around the whole keyboard. On the bottom, there is 5 rubber feet, 2 height adjustable feet and the cool killer logo here in the middle. There is two configurations for the height adjustable feet, so if you don't like how flat the keyboard is, you can increase it slightly or all the way to the max typing angle. The keyboard is mostly plastic but is quite heavy around 1.7kg or 3.8 pounds due to its full size layout. As for the customizability, the keyboard supports the cool killer driver software. In the main tab, you can configure the RGB lighting effects like the speed and brightness. Set the sleep timer for the keyboard in wireless mode. Create and customize your own RGB effects. Remap all of the keys and function layer. And also adjust the magnetic switch settings. First, you can set the dynamic keystrokes, which is basically where you can set 4 different actions for a single keystroke. And here you can see the 4 different points available for you to set. Next, you can select the mode for all of the magnetic switches. So there's the gaming and sensitive mode where the switch will trigger at 0.5mm, comfort mode where it triggers and resets at 2mm, and customized mode where you can set the exact trigger and reset points for the switches. Lastly, you can also set the dead zones for the switches if you have any problems with interference with these magnetic switches. Besides that, this software also allows you to create and add macros here, share your creations with other users, Log in to save your custom settings and sync your keyboard with your other devices and upgrade the software and keyboard firmware as well. Moving on to the keycaps, these are Cherry Profile and are a combination of these translucent and Dysart PBT keycaps. The printing on them looks great with sharp details and saturated colors and they are around 1.3 to 1.4 mm in thickness. I think they've done a great job making these keycaps and they really fit the color and theming over here. As for the switches, the Western Legend variant comes with the silent magnetic switches. Here I have the Otemu Dida switch. It has an actuation force of 45 grams and can be triggered from 0.1 mm to 3.7 mm. These switches come loop from the factory too and kind of feel like membrane switches in my opinion. As for the stabilizers, they are plate mounted and come lubed as well. So far from my testing, they are great with no rattle at all and I appreciate that they added some silicone to help with the spacebar sound. The PCB here is the interesting part. It's 5 pin hot swap and can support both magnetic and mechanical switches. So you can easily swap out the switches to any you prefer as you can see. Alright, to access the parts and components inside, you just have to remove all of the screws on the bottom and disconnect the cables from the battery and daughter board. So, in the bottom case, there's this really thick piece of sound dampening silicone, the 8000mAh battery and the daughter board here. 
In the top case, there's the mod switcher here, a piece of foam on the back of the PCB, and a PET insulation film, an IXPE switch pad, and a piece of plate silicone in between the plate and PCB. The plate comes top mounted so it's screwed into the top case, but it can also be gasket mounted for a softer typing feel if you prefer that. To do that, you just need to remove the screws holding the plate and install the silicone gaskets onto the sides like this. And they will slot into the holes in the bottom of the case. From my testing, it does feel slightly more flexible than top mounting the plate and PCB. The difference isn't very noticeable but it does feel better for long periods of usage. Alright, that was everything about the Cool Killer CK108. Now time for the typing sound test with the silent switches. Okay, here are my final thoughts on the Cool Killer CK108. Personally, I think it's a more casual take on a magnetic switch keyboard. Most rapid trigger keyboards currently on the market cater only to gamers and it's nice seeing one being made for work or just casual daily use. The silent switches work as intended and it's more suitable for work environments. But there's also other variants if you prefer other types of switches. Overall, I think it's a very capable full-size keyboard with all of the newest features a magnetic switch offers. So if you're interested in the Cool Killer CK108, it will be linked in the description below for you. And that does it for this video. Thanks to Cool Killer for the keyboard and thank you for watching. Leave a like on the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't and remember to subscribe if you haven't. See you in the next one.